So guys, I want to make this video today because I thought this was absolutely freaking amazing. Sam Hubbard holds a record since 2017. And here's the funny thing. He's only been in the league since 2018. So he's not even in the league. But he still holds this record till this day. And will continue till throughout the season most likely. When he again was not even in the league. What record is that? Well, is this one right here. Highest run stuff win rate as an edge rusher since 2017. Yeah, six years ago. Before Hubbard was even in the league, even though it's a year before that, he still is that consistent, that high of a level of shutting down the run, that he is still number one here. 33.4% currently. Now, the Ravens just went ahead and picked up Javion Clowney. I'm going to take my face away for a second so we can look at Mad Max Crosby here. But, yes, Ravens just picked up Clowney. He's at 31.5%. Who Clowney's been in the league longer than Hubbard. And Max Crosby, 31.3%. I think Crosby's been in the league less time than Hubbard. I believe Crosby's like... I want to say he's like 2020 era when it comes to when he got drafted. But that is still absolutely insanity that Hubbard holds a record since 2017. And it goes to show, like it's a full four, how consistent he is. How he, even though he's not putting up the crazy sack numbers. Because yeah, if we're being honest here, he's not. Um, let me go ahead and take down this image. He doesn't put down, oh, I think that's uh, I think that's Joe Mixon saying to the... um. Yeah, it's Joe Mixon saying to all the reporters, I'd love to hear you now. No, on the real note, though, yes. So, again, he was joined the league in 2018. But six sacks, eight and a half, two, seven and a half, six and a half. No, he's not putting up crazy pass rusher numbers off the edge. But he is consistently shutting down plays, being an impact player on the play, and just getting the job done. And these are stats. You know, they always say, like, stats with offensive linemen, you know, they never get talked about because they're really, you don't, the, what doesn't go down to stats is how impactful you are on the play. How much you did behind the scenes on the play. That's ne That never goes into the stat category. I guess a little bit into maybe the quarterback hits or quarterback pressures, those type of things. But, for example, shutting down a run at that consistent level, I mean, you're literally making a team one-dimensional. You're making the team have to pass the ball against you. And then you're able to, you know, control the time of the, uh, control of the game and control how the game goes. So this is absolutely amazing. And I think he honestly will keep this for this whole entire year. Clowney is on the Ravens now, but he's like a rotational guy with Owe, with... um. Oh, who the else they have? Uh, there's some other guy. We get the second guy, and then Clyde's the third guy. So he's just a rotational piece. So it's not like Ojabo, that's his name. But it's not like he's going to be consistently on the field all the time. So I do think he's going to keep it over Clowney. Max Crosby might, maybe, just maybe, he ends up going ahead and, you know, getting a higher win rate. It really depends on, you know, how the Raiders season is going to go. Because, honestly, the Raiders could be absolutely freaking awful this year. And they could be getting destroyed left and right. So, Hubbard might continue holding this for a little bit of time. And, honestly, I don't think anyone is going to be better than Hubbard when it comes to the win rate. But 2019, so I thought he was 2020. So he was a year after Hubbard. And again, like I said, he's not putting up crazy stat numbers either when it comes to sack totals, but it's the consistency on the play and making plays at a very high level. Now, he gets more quarterback hits overall-wise. But again, Hubbard is not the only player on that defensive line we have. We have him, we have Hendrickson, we have DJ Reader, BJ Hill. Obviously, now we have some other guys in that rotation that would be good. Max Crosby is really the only thing the Raiders have. He's like the guy, right? He is the monster that literally gets everything. And I just want to double check this. When was Clowney drafted? 2014. Okay, so yeah, he's he's definitely, he's older, man. He's very, very old. And that's actually kind of crazy how amazing, you know, the fact that Hubbard holds that stat over someone who's been in the league since 2014. So this is someone who, realistically speaking, probably should hold the stat. Clowney should have this. Physical ability, 
you know, gifted ability and the fact he's been in the league for so freaking long, he should have the ability to shut down, you know, runs at a very high level. But you can't beat Hubbard, man. You can't beat Hubbard. I, I just love that. So I just want to talk about this today because I thought it was a really cool thing to talk about. And I can't wait to see what he can do this season. But Sam Hubbard, as always, man, getting the job done. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.